Mick Rock, rock photographer. Okay, well, didn't seem that uh, something that anyone should take too seriously because you know, sounds a bit. And no one believed that was my name anyway, which it, which it is. Well, I picked up a camera when I was high on acid, when I was studying modern language and, and literature, and then someone offered me money to take a pictures of some local rock band, like five quid, which is about eight dollars by today's exchange. But that was good back then. The fortuitous thing was coming across David Bowie in early 2000, no, early 1972, and that he somehow consumed my eyeball. And it was about timing as well, because he had just gone into Ziggy Stardust mode. So I caught the beginning of that. And then I saw the monster grow and he become, you know, over a less than two year period, he became this international superstar. When I was doing a lot of these pictures, the photos were more mature than I was. Are they, my eye was way ahead of my person. I need to say something about the W who have been fabulous, been very supportive. Obviously they got me on board to shoot these people at the um, at this music series. I get served up these great platters and I get to indulge myself. Like the band today, Fantagram, who are fabulous. I got some wonderful pictures of them. Our photo shoot was Mick Rock was amazing. It was it was um it was an honor. We shot with Mick Rock upstairs in the hotel, and he's like very assertive. Very, um, he gets really into it, and uh, he he was just a fun guy. I love the kind of artists they were coming up with. To, for the privilege of shooting as Janelle Monae, and to get paid for it as well. I mean, you can't top that. Because for me, photography is very therapeutic, but especially with artists, you know. I'm, in my bones now, especially musical artists. I mean, I love whoever I'm shooting now, or whoever I shot yesterday, most of all. But of course, you know, David, the double Ds, David and Debbie. They are, there they are, the double Ds.